So the session is about a research project that we're doing where we're trying to rethink intervention in mathematics using non-digital games. So board games, card games, giving them to teachers and seeing how teachers use those games to do intervention in a more like agentic, joyful, thoughtful way. And we're developing sort of a library of games that are high quality that teachers can give to kids that are engaging to play that will help them develop their um, math tech fluency, develop conceptual understanding of mathematics all sort of at the same time. That's what we're investigating in this project. And so to have a bunch of teachers come and fill the room and play games with us was so fun. When teachers are starting to see like the potential of how much joy and entertainment and fun they can have while doing math and how this can like translate to their students having fun and you know enjoyment out of math, I think like that was like probably the best part. A lot of the games that we choose um, kind of force you to think about math conceptually in a way that sometimes if we say like, oh, you need practice with your addition facts or your multiplication facts and you get a worksheet, that can be um, kind of boring and students aren't engaged in that. Um, but this helps them to get that practice but also be thinking about math conceptually. We're experimenting as we go. It's, it's at the beginning stages. It's not like we know exactly what we're doing and we're testing it exactly. Instead, with design research, we're we're saying, okay, like today we're throwing games out there. We saw which games teachers gravitated towards, which ones they moved away from quickly, which ones they kept their attention and kept them interested strategically. I loved how interactive it was and that we actually got to play the different games versus just hearing about them or hearing about their research. Um, it like gave me hands-on experience with each one and I actually got to learn the rules to the different games and feel out if it's something that I would want to try out in my classroom. I mean, I went in there looking for games to implement in my classroom because it's something I've been thinking about for a while. So I think what I took away from this session is now I have a few options that I know are research-based and that I've tried out in real life and I think the kids will really like. The district that we're working with actually specifically asked us to do, it, to do uh, work with games that were non-digital. The superintendent at the time, the assistant superintendent said, we want to make sure that these kids have experience with games, but not looking at a screen. Board games are coming back. Card games are coming back also because people, adults and kids in general, are tired of looking at screens. They want to play with other people with actual physical games. And so that's a part of our project too. That we really value the non-digitalness of these games. What's exciting is that this is for teachers, but it's also about research. This is the first year that NCTM has had sessions where teachers can come to like the whole research conference. And so we're really excited about this linking research to practice session. Because then hopefully they're gonna take that away and then they're gonna innovate and they're gonna do it even better than we're doing it because they, they got ideas at the session and now can m make it fit their context. <laughs>